Welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Joanne Laflamme. So Joanne, what do you think we should cover today? Well, I, I know we have a couple of different options for how we create invoices in Enterprise. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if we could kind of go over those. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, we can do uh, invoicing by job, of course. Um, you'll be able to invoice by component. Uh, but when you invoice by component, uh, you have the option of either listing each component's separately on the invoice or if you use component linking mm -hmm. to have a line item on the invoice for each group okay so if there's three components within a group it'll make one line for the group and then go to the next group okay um, and then there's even a fourth option where you could we did this enhancement a while ago about mm -hmm. adding uh ability to do an invoice per component separate invoice for each component right so if you have okay. multiple components there it'll do three components will make three invoices Okay, yeah. great. Well, okay. see, we have all these different options. Is there a way to default them? Sure. Okay. Yep. All right, so we'll go to the screen. I'll open up AR. And in the AR system setup, so there's a little box here, invoice by defaults. Um, if you click job, then these two boxes are going to kind of shadow and be hidden. But if you go to component, then you'll have the two additional options there. Um, if you, if you don't check either of the boxes, what happens is the presumption is you're going to invoice by the group. Okay. So if you use the component linking and you say components one and two make up a booklet, third component is mailing, okay. then it's going to give you a line for the, for the booklet and then the mailing. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. But then if I check the default to go without grouping, then that's where you'd get the individual components all listed separately regardless of the group. Okay. And... You could do an invoice per component, which if you've got three components, it would give you an invoice for each one. And those are just the defaults. I can always change it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Can we take a look at uh, the different options? Sure. Okay. okay. So let's cancel here. And I've got an invoice under job closeout, close jobs, ready to go. So if we take this one here, 10,004, and we'll just run through an invoice and show the different examples. Okay. Okay, so if I push the invoice, so what happens is it will come up and give you that same screen here exactly the way you've defaulted it. So I left mine defaulted by job. Okay. So that's what's coming up here. All right. Uh, but I can change it and alter it. Okay. Uh, let's leave it job for this first example. We click OK. And so as we expect, the invoice comes up with just a single line item with the job number. The description is going to be the job's description. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, and then, of course, if we open it up, the detail comments here would be the comments coming from the main job. Okay. Okay. The job header screen. So I'm just going to back up. So if we go in a second time, so now I'm going to switch it, do it by component. And I won't check either of the two boxes. So again, not checking the two sub boxes will invoice by the group. Okay. So the way I have this job set up is it's three components. First two are one group. Third one is a second group. Okay. Right, so we'll see how that comes through. Click OK here. And so I've got two lines here. Okay, component one is the first group. Line two here is the second group. Okay, the description is going to be the group description. The group okay. name, yeah. The group name, okay. yeah, that comes through, exactly. Okay. We back up again. So the third example will be by component, but this time we'll check the box to go without the grouping. Okay, so this would be an intention where maybe I'm using the linking on the estimating side, but for some reason I don't want to do the linking on the invoice. Okay. Okay. All right. So you can list these three completely separated out. So now I've got three line items, and notice the description is now the component description. It's no yes. It's not going to be the job description. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. And then back up for a final time. If we go through again, we'll go component, but this time I'm going to do an invoice per component. Okay. So what it does there is it actually goes ahead and makes a batch for us and saves the transactions where it actually creates the two invoice records here. So we have two invoices, one um, 
for the first component. Now in this example, I would, because we had the grouping on in the estimating side, uh, the first two components were grouped together. So okay. the first invoice is actually for group one. Okay, so we've got a line item for, for the group one invoice. And then if I come into the second invoice, this will be for the, for the second group. Okay. So this option okay. only does the groups if they're grouped. Exactly. Great, exactly. okay. Yeah. All right. Any thank other you. questions with that? No, that was great. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, well, thank you. And thanks for watching. That was another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Joanne Laflamme. Please look forward for more to come.